Ready to rock and roll? At the Australian Reptile Park, General Manager Tim Faulkner and his staff are preparing for one of their most terrifying tasks. First priority is for you not to get bitten. Second priority is for you not to get bitten. Yes. Today is a big day. We're catching the reptile park's largest python, Atomic Betty, a reticulated python, the largest python in the world. So we know our roles and goals. Let's say Bill on head, I'll be on the shield, um, Mike on second, uh, and then we'll roll one, two, three in any particular order. There's six blokes here, and they're not here for no reason. It's because she is big, she is strong, she is dangerous. It's a very serious job. You know the drill, boys. Get on, get her straightened out, and don't let her wrap. And just remember, fellas, don't pull too hard on that snake, because if you pull too hard, you're going to pull her head out of my hands, and then we're going to have a real problem. We're going to have centimetre-long teeth lashing around. Yeah. <laughs> Righto. This exhibit is the scariest exhibit we have here at the park. I would much prefer to go in and catch a crocodile. That snake, it's big enough to kill three fellas in one go. So, to me, it scares the living life out of me. OK, let's go. Where's the head, mate? It's tucked right down in between that main coil, just coming off the centre here. Oh, she's not in a good spot. Let's um, poke her and see how she reacts. Just, just needed to turn. She's just impossible to grab where she is. She's too strong. Mate, I'm shaking and you're grabbing her. Oh, so <laughs> nervous. She's never been in this spot, though. She's always over there. Yeah. Tommy Betty does not want to move. She's in the deepest, darkest corner. Now, the shield's there. If Bill commits, he's got no support behind him. He's stuck in a cavity. That's dangerous. But Tim and his team have to persevere. Atomic Betty needs an important vet check, and they simply have to get her moving. OK, we've got head. Just watch her. She's in full S position. Yep, she's about to strike. How are you going to know which part of the neck you're grabbing? See how swollen her head is with those big muscles in you the back of her it. head? I should be able to see yep. that outline. Go for it. She's ready to strike at any second, mate. Tim and his team at the Australian Reptile Park have encountered a huge problem as they attempt to catch six and a half metre long atomic Betty. She's stubborn us, she's tucked up in that corner there and she's set where she is. Just wanted to move up a little bit, get that head up. Get by here. We need to move her from this spot. So we gently poke and probe to get her to unwind and move to a higher spot in the enclosure. She could strike any second. She's not catchable from there, but no if she... No way. She's tucking herself under. We've got the face looking right at us. With Atomic Betty refusing to move, Tim decides on a change of strategy. We're going to do a crocodile catch. You're Absolutely. Yeah? What do you Wonderful. want to do? So I'm just going to gently, I don't want to throw it on her like he would with a croc. I just want to use this snake hook to get it up over the back of her head. And then we can sneak in there. She can't see us. And hopefully we can go for yeah. the grab. At the moment, she's just head on. Walk near her, woof, right in the face. Come on, sweetheart. She's tucking into this corner bad. Just watch she doesn't come through here. If I go in now and try and grab her by the head, she's going to pull me into that cave. She's going to have coils over me before the boys can get in and grab me. She's cranky, eh? Cranky. Just be ready for that door too, boys, if needed. She goes nuts. Okay, get ready. Whoa. Okay. Well done. No way. But Feisty Betty is determined to evade capture. Back up a little bit, boys. Woo. Let's break for five, boys. We'll retreat. Yep. Let her settle. She's yep. moving too much. Right up. Back up, boys. We'll let her settle proper. First time we've ever had to retreat. The blindfold has not worked. She's back in the corner and just sitting there in ambush position. We need to give her five minutes to settle again, and we need to settle. I'm trembling more than any time we've actually caught her. Right all. Round two, boys. After an unsuccessful first attempt, Tim and his team are trying once more to capture the Australian Reptile Park's longest creature. Want to go that way? Good spot right now. I've caught her over a dozen times, but each time has been first go. In you go, snakes in place, ready boys, bang. Jeez, we almost need a light, don't we? Yeah. Well, as long as the boys stay down, you'll be fine. If I get in yep. behind her ear, it's scaring me. This is the first time it's taken so long to actually catch Atomic Betty. And the longer it's taken, the more nervous I'm getting. Bring that shield a bit further mm -hmm. around here. Just if she reverses, she's going to be right in my crutch. The team is determined to catch Betty, so they can check up on an old back injury. I hope she got it. Yep, good. 
Two years ago, Tim noticed an alarming bulge on the massive snake. Oh, well, first impression's a worry. Touching Betty's lump, I'm concerned that she suffered a fractured vertebrae in her back and that there's the potential to her to be uh, paralysed from that point backwards. Yep, stay down, boys, out of that light. Everybody was hoping the injury would heal on its own. If they can capture Betty and transport her to the vet, they'll find out. OK, one, two, three. On, boys. On. Don't let her bite herself. On. Coil off, Bill. Behind me, Zach. Behind. That's it. Behind me, Zach. Yep. Uh, that's it. You're right, mate. Yep. Well Get done. Feet around. Yep. Keep that coil off, fellas. Beautiful. OK, just watch. There's the lump. Right under my hand, mate. Grab that. Just cradle that part. Man, she's got some power. Just watch that mouth, mate. Watch your face. The terrifying task of catching Atomic Betty is not over yet. Oh. Okay. Yep, she got a coil in there. That's it. Got that not too hard. Not too hard. Just watch, I'm falling. Whilst Atomic Betty's there with her mouth open and we have her restrained, she's still burning energy. And that's OK at that time. We want her to wear out a little bit. It makes it safer for us. Okay, everyone, let's let's bring Bill back a little. <laughs> that's it. Yep. Let's. Um, I've got a hand on it, mate. All good. All good. Let's um, let's let her burn just a little bit of energy. Give her a minute. Whew. Okay, we good. Well done, mate. Well done. So when I grabbed her, she went absolutely berserko. Pulled us right into the edge of the cave. Ended up down in where the water normally is. Boys piled in behind. But in the end, great, great catch. Now, the thing here, boys, is no head back out of the bag. No, so Bill's last one on. Way, yeah, you know, Just watch that coil. Watch your arm there, Mike. Watch your arm. Yeah, OK. You OK, Bill? Grab bag, boys. Ready? One's good. Two, three. Go. Got up. Well done. Woo. Her welfare is number one priority. So we've got to always look after her, especially with that lump on her back. We don't want her inflaming that. <laughs> Tim and the team now have to carefully transport Betty to the local vet. The main risks here are, firstly, to Atomic Betty, that we somehow make the injury worse. So we need to be sensitive about that and handle her the right way. Up. See you down there, boys. Where is she? Her head's right up that far end. Tim and his team have arrived at Green Cross Vets for a progress report on that, Atomic Betty, it. a reticulated python with a serious back injury. Hello, Pete. Hey, guys, how are you? Come Good. in here, go straight through. And straight through? Turn left, turn left when you get a chance. Atomic Betty had an injury two years ago now. We get to see whether that's healed and if she's back to normal or not. Put it down here, Pete. Yeah, anywhere you can find a spot, Tim. Ooh. Good work. How's she doing? She seems great. The lump's still there, yep. but it's been well over a year and a half now. We're still feeding small food items. Yep. Has she been losing weight, Bill? Oh, slightly, not much. Has she? OK, well, we can only take an X-ray and uh, have a look at what we've got now. Dr Peter Nosworthy made the original diagnosis on Atomic Betty's lump. It became apparent that she had a defect, if you like. You could see and feel something on her back. We took some X-rays. Uh, she'd suffered a crack into her vertebrae. Watch your face, buddy, when she comes out. Getting Atomic Betty into an X-ray room not designed for a 6.5-metre-long python is the first okay, obstacle. There it is, Pete. Okay, Zach, can you take the, the injury and just cradle it? Okay. Right, mate. That's it, I'll go in. I'm heading in. Okay, a little bit more. Right, oh. X-rays happening, guys. One, two. Okay. Happy? Yep. Okay. Right, guys, out we go. Well, now's the moment of truth. Hopefully, it's heading in the right direction. Okay. <laughs> it's very obvious, isn't it? <laughs> On the central coast, it's time to check out the x-rays of Atomic Betty's spinal injury. I guess on this side, we've got good bridging happening. Yes, it's solid mass. Solid mass, so that's that calcification, it's there. Yes. I see the image and it was confronting. You know, there's a mass of bone there, but 
I could see that the bone had started to fuse and I'm hanging on Pete's every word. I mean, I mean that, that's quite a strong bridge. Uh, you know, it, 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 this sort of new bone formation, calcification is often more solid than yes. what was there previously. And that's why we've got the lump at the top because that's, that's where the bone's calcified. Yeah. Okay. Yep. My initial reaction was good and bad. I, I could still see that Atomic Betty had a little bit of a gap between the two vertebrae, a displacement. Uh, you can see the, see the bridge across there, Tim, the calcium bridge. Uh, it, it's acting as a splint on that side, but not enough on this side. She's a still at risk animal. Okay. Yep, well, that's what we needed to know. Uh, it's not the news Tim and his team were hoping for. What we're seeing there is probably what we've got into the future. Peter Straight Shooter, he qualifies that we've got a nice bridge of bone across the top. Now that's fused, that's new bone. Underneath, not so much, but it's heading in the right direction. She's not in pain. I would have thought that while she's lying around at rest, that she's probably quite comfortable. Yep. That uh, uh, on these occasions where she has to be manipulated, lifted, shifted, then she could feel a twitch yep. there. For day to day, we don't need no, a, don't a pain so. medication. No. no, no. Her prognosis moving forward is better than it was 18 months ago, but she is still guarded, I guess. She's a guarded prognosis. We still have to take care of her. All right, well, uh, you know, maybe we bring her down in another two years, but yeah, otherwise, no, uh, we'll see. it could be worse. Yeah. What it means for Atomic Betty now is that she's on the road to recovery. It hasn't got worse. We can up the size of the feed we give her. We're not back to where we were, but I'm happier. All right, nice and gentle. For now, it's back home to the Australian Reptile Park. OK. Where one of its most popular residents can expect plenty of attention. There we go. Let's just sit her up in there. All right, well done, boys. Atomic Betty's a star here, and she already gets lots of love and TLC, but maybe now, just a little bit more. Hi, I'm Dr. Danny Dusek from Bondi Vet. If you love our show and want to see more, plus some amazing content about pets and how to care for them, hit the subscribe button. Click that little notification bell and we'll see you on our next video.